have you seen people sharing their work their project in the public platforms like linkedin and when it comes to things relevant to aws the most common thing would observe is their architectural diagram itself which would be like straight on point to see what service they use how the entire flow looks like have you ever wondered how people create such diagrams in this video we will talk about three tools plus one pro tip how to create such architectural diagrams so for example i can go and create an arrow and uh, also you can see uh, i can create like strokes and then i can make it like a slopiness so that it looks as if i am uh, creating the uh, diagram with pencil or uh, you know hand drawn kind of thing so if you expand this further it's going to look like this so if you want to use uh, the icons of aws you can navigate into the library and you should be able to see browse libraries and search for keyword aws where we see the pre created icons by the people uh, so for example if you are interested into this you can just say add to escalera and that's going to get added to your browser and then what you can do is you can start adding it to your uh, browser and create your own architectural diagram just like this so this would be the one of the simplistic one how to create architectural diagram via escalera the tool number 2 it's going to be uh, draw.io so again uh, uh, it's uh, free so you can go to draw.io and then uh, create a new diagram here again you can see uh, search with aws or here also you can see about uh, cloud and then uh, they have categories based on aws gcp azure ibm for example i can uh, choose this and create so this is going to come with uh, pre filled uh, icons in case if you don't want uh, this diagram all together you can just uh, delete it out and uh, all the icons should be available on your left like you see it's categorized uh, based on uh, services like analytics groups compute and containers you can just uh, uh, start placing it and uh, connect the flow and uh, that's how you start creating the diagram in dotadio if you want creating a presentation and if you want to create a, a, a proper document that's the tool we are going to talk about in the next one which is the powerpoint itself so aws offers the pre built uh, or pre document assets for us as a part of powerpoint deck i will give you the link how to download or where to download the powerpoint deck by aws in the comment section where else you can see uh, they provide you the clear instruction how to use it uh, what is the standards that industry people follow uh, including uh, what diagram how it's be mentioned and uh, what is the thickness of the arrow to be followed everything is there as part of this guideline and they also uh, try their best uh, like to include each and every components that would come when it uh, as the architectural diagram when it comes to when you talk about uh, the uh, architectural stuff so you can just copy it uh, paste it in your uh, slide and then uh, by holding just shift you can just uh, uh, expand and uh, they cover uh, end to end diagrams of right from arrow to uh, the services wise they have been categorized it. so it's it's very uh, helpful one the the last tool would be the pro tool which is uh, the cloud formation itself it comes under infras code though but still uh, you can navigate it into the console uh, create a template in designer and you can say uh, create template in designer and then you can start uh, you know uh, design your architecture by uh, referring to the diagram for example let's say if i want to create a s3 you can uh, navigate into the service which would be under the one it's it's alphabetically arranged so you can just go here and uh, let's say bucket so it's going to create the bucket and you can uh, uh, say it depends on let's say bucket policy and then you can try to uh, connect each other with the arrow diagram and then on the down you would see the uh, the infras code uh, created for you so if you are a beginner then you can play with it by drag and drop the icons and uh, uh, create the architectural flow once the stack is created you can create the actual resource itself uh, in case if you are experienced one you want to uh, experimenting more on the learning part you write the uh, infras code in the yaml format and then that will be generating you the architectural diagram so it works uh, in both way and you can try this so this would be like a fancy way how you can automate it in the same way you can create the architectural diagram as an end result once the architectural diagram is created you can also uh, animate it with the fancy flow we have made a, another video for it i will add it in the description and also add it in the comment uh, do check it out how to create such animation flow what are you waiting for go get your uh, architectural diagram created and uh, feel free to share uh, or tag me in the linkedin with your work what you have done 
uh, happy to look into it for more videos follow evidai uh, see you all in the next week in a new video thanks